What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. It's fall. These hoodies are available at RiderWear.com. Coupon code Lobliner. Save a ton of cash. Another thing is the Pumpkin Pie Outright Bar. Seasonal flavor available only to the end of the year. We're only running or whenever they sell out. Get them now if you want them. This is so, these are so good. Trust me. Nailed it. So anyway, check it out. I want to talk to you about when is the better time to train? Morning or night? AM or PM? Bottom line is it's been shown in multiple studies that if you train in the morning, you're more likely to stick to it. You know, as Charles Duhigg said in The Power of Habit, it's a great book. I recommend you read it, that going to the gym in the morning, forming that routine, forming that habit, that'll keep you coming back to the gym. So what you do is you get everything ready the night before. You lay out your clothes. You get your pre-workout powder ready or get everything ready. That way, you know, first thing you wake up, go to the gym. Bottom line is if you get the gym done first thing, it's your first thing done. It's your priority. So no matter what, if it's at work, if the kids have soccer, football, wrestling, like my kids have, you get to the gym, you get it done, it's done. But there are some negatives to going to the gym in the morning. Number one is data has pretty much shown that your strength gains, okay, your strength gains and your hypertrophy gains will be better later in the day, such as afternoon to evening time. But again, if you're getting 10% better gains, who cares? 10% of zero is still zero. If you can go to the gym in the morning, if that's the best time you go to the gym, go to the gym in the morning. Another thing is Derek at More Plates, More Dates brought this up. Some people are just exhausted after training. I'm one of them. When I go to California visiting Ambrosia headquarters, I always go to the gym in the morning with Mike and Sean. They're two guys, Mike Rashid and Sean Torbati. They're two guys, they do really well really well training. It gets them focused, gets them energized. And I used to be that guy for years and years and years, decades. I trained in the morning. I still do. I'm talking 5 a.m., 4 a.m., whatever it took. Now I find that even with adequate sleep, I still crush it during the day, but I crush it slightly better when I don't train in the morning and I train in the evening because I have all that energy that I didn't expend during training. Also, as someone with some attention issues, um, it actually benefits me during the day where weight training tends to calm me down and I have no trouble sleeping, no trouble sleeping. And I've been trying to get to the gym around four to 6 PM. But again, sometimes I have to go in the morning because my kids play sports. So data does show that training in, let's say the four o'clock range will be more beneficial for strength and hypertrophy than training in the morning. But again, I argue that again, you're controlling studies, which doesn't account for individuality. Again, like we went over Mike Rasheed and Sean Torbot. No one's going to argue Mike Rasheed's not jacked, right? Guy trains in the morning. He does. Okay, Sean, phenomenal shape, trains in the morning. Your body adapts. So whatever mechanisms there are, your body adapts. Also energy systems, if your body knows it's going to train in the morning, it gets used to that and it will probably, again, evolutionarily speaking, it'll probably make it where I know there's some hormonal release and your body will have that, that period of time where it's might be tired after training for some of us like me. But what happens is your body will adapt to that and you will persevere with your day. For a lot of people, that's just not something they can do. You know, they just can't wake up. They can't train. They're not morning people. There are differences. There are in actuality morning and night people. There are people who do better in the morning right when they wake up. They're like, ah, that was me. Um, it, it's me now for, for the most part as well. I'm like that all day. I'm always like this. I'm always hyper and intense, but there are some people who just hate the mornings. They just suck at mornings. So what do you do? You do what you can. Bottom line is we could talk all we want about diurnal and all this shit, nocturnal. We could talk about methodologies. We could talk about training in the morning and middle of the night and the afternoon. The key is Number one thing is get your ass to the gym. It's just like the car. Should I do cardio in the morning on the fastest stomach? Should I do a cardio post-workout? Are you doing cardio? Like before we look at the semantics of the best time to do things, we need to look at when people will actually do things. And at the end of the day, a lot of people, their training schedule is dictated by not when they want to go to the gym, it's when they can go to the gym. If you're a dude like me or anybody on my kids travel soccer, travel football, wrestling teams, you do not get to choose when you go to the gym because you have a job, you have kids, you have responsibilities. So the bottom line is, yeah, okay, if you're a pro bodybuilder, you're trying to find the best time to train, all right, maybe do your cardio in the morning, get your blood going, get your sunlight in, get that whole circadian rhythm going, work during the day if you're a bodybuilder and you don't really work, but let's say you're a pro athlete or whatever, and then time your training to be in the afternoon or thereafter right? Like that would be what scientifically that I extrapolate to be the best. But at the end of the day, man, I've been training in the morning for decades. 
when I was training, prepping for my pro card, very busy time. I was uh, selling one of my companies. So I was very busy all day um, getting the due diligence done on that. So I trained in the mornings and I won a pro card. So again, like it doesn't really matter. It might, but you're looking at percentage points. So if you're training your ass off and you're getting 96%, but you're going every single time you're supposed to go, you're not missing a workout versus someone who's training at 100%, but has to miss the gym 60% of the time because shit happens, who cares? So does it matter if you're training AM, PM? Yes. Does it matter to you? Since 99.9% .9 of y'all aren't competitive athletes, aren't going for a pro card, aren't professional bodybuilders, aren't professional baseball players, aren't professional football players, aren't really at that level since you just want to look good, feel good, and, and be optimal and get better every day, then it doesn't matter when you go to the gym. Bottom line is, just get to the fucking gym. Anyway, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell. Remember the Outright Bar Pumpkin Pie Flavor. is available now at TigerFitness.com along with all your other nutritional supplements. I'm Mark Lobiner. That's not a game. Training intensity is everything. If you want to build muscle, if you want to get better, if you want to go hard, you need to train intense. A lot of pre-workouts, they get you intense. But then what happens? You crash. A lot of pre-workouts, they give you the pump. But then what happens? It wears off. A lot of pre-workouts, they'll give you all that stuff, but it doesn't add to your endurance. I want to be able to lift heavy. I want to be able to feel the pump. I want veins bulging from every single part of my body. I want to lift heavier weights every single time. I want to run farther. I want to run faster. I want to push harder. And I want to get bigger, stronger, and faster. And that's why I created Clash 3D. This pre-workout is next level, featuring 3D pump, Vaso Drive AP, and a lot of other epic ingredients. Guys, this is the pre-workout that you need to take your workouts and your performance and your physique to the next level.